The year is 2012. I'm sitting in class at acupuncture school and I'm passionately in love with what I'm studying. And the professor says something that makes me stop in my tracks and try to figure out what it was that just happened. The professor says the best time to treat an illness is just before the symptoms arrive. How do we do that? <laughs> Having spent all of those years trained as an engineer and working in the fields of engineering and IT, my linear thinking mind just stopped and objected. And now at this stage of my practice, having practice, been in practice for 13 years, I can say that that is absolutely the goal of preventative medicine. And that's what we're trying to do today. I'm talking about stroke and in traditional Chinese medicine, we have several different differentiations for stroke. So in Western medicine, we have like a couple different types of stroke in traditional Chinese medicine. We're looking at how did it happen? What was the root cause? So we might have something like uh, liver wind with liver and kidney yin deficiency. We might have phlegm obstruction. We might have blood stasis. Very different categories, actually. And I thought today we could talk about the, the different um, symptoms or diseases that you might be experiencing if you have one of the most common types of, if you're if you're headed for one of the most common types of wind stroke, which is due to um, liver wind due to liver and kidney yin deficiency. Hi, I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark. I'm an acupuncture physician. I am the author of Your Chi Matters. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, so an applied kinesiologist, and I'm the president of Longevity Wellness. Here are some of the other symptoms that you may have if you have or are headed towards liver wind with liver yin deficiency and kidney yin deficiency. So the first one um, that you might experience might be something as simple as ringing in the ears. You might have um, some high blood pressure. You might be a person that tends a little bit towards dryness, the liver and kidney yin deficiency. It's going to be dryness. A little bit further in, you might get some dizziness. Um, significant, you might get headaches or migraines. You might have just difficulty having stable emotions. So in Chinese medicine, the emotions are used diagnostically. There's nothing wrong with you other than what's wrong with you. It might be that your liver is a little cranky and needs to be soothed, needs some special herbs to help soothe the liver. Um, or it might be more significant, like tremors and convulsions. But you see, those are, those are six different diseases, pathologies, six different symptoms that might happen before we ever get to stroke. And that means that this can be very, very, very correctable. So in the newsletter today, you'll see I, I shared a lot of information about what to do after stroke or how acupuncture can help with stroke and what acupuncture pressure points might be helpful to rub, um, do 20 on the top of the head, LA4, this super famous one that everyone knows for headache, um, kidney three, which I can't show you because it's on the inside of the ankle. Uh, but you know, these are all great, but it's so much greater if we can prevent that stroke from happening in the first place. Liver and kidney yin deficiency happens because the fluids inside the body are like burning up. We're getting hot. The, uh, the reason that dizziness is a factor is because those crystals in your ear sit in a little bit of gelatinous fluid. And when that starts to heat up, it gets a little dry and those crystals move around for a little bit and then we're like, oh, okay, I'm getting a little dizzy. That's a problem. So that's why it's a sign of the liver kidney yin deficiency. Um, liver wind can happen with a tremor or, a, you know, even just like a really subtle tremor. Like maybe you never notice it, but somebody in your family notices your, your head kind of twitches a little bit or you notice that like your golf game is a little harder to keep control. Very subtle symptoms, very subtle symptoms. But by recognizing these, 
well in advance and reaching out to your acupuncturist early, you can actually avoid the stroke. So please know that that is possible and that there is hope and it is a lot nicer to live with a body that has been able to prevent a stroke um, if you are able to offer that gift to yourself. And it is well worth the couple of bucks that it takes to, to work with a great acupuncturist to keep you out of that situation. Um, it's amazing the things that can trigger a stroke if you have the environment for it. Um, a family member of mine years ago had a stroke from being in a kind of uh, an environment where there was some air conditioning vent flowing right on her and she was a really big sports fan and it was a really tense stressful game and she had a stroke right after that um, so it's amazing the things that can that can be the the match that lights the tinder box so you can avoid that and I hope this has been helpful to you Remember that if you if you are experiencing any of these things, it is important to resolve it and to get it healed so that your body doesn't keep going out of alignment. Because the more out of alignment we are, the easier it is to, to tip over and then we wind up in those old commercials where it's like, ah, I should have had a V8. I should have had an acupuncture session. <laughs> All right, I hope this has been helpful to you. I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark and that's good medicine. <laughs>